All right, guys, we've got a 2007 Big Dog Canine Softail Chopper motorcycle for sale. This bike currently has 7,801 very, very well cared for miles. Now this particular bike is equipped with the orange metallic base paint job. And then you've got different variations of skull airbrushing throughout the bike. Definitely a very, very attractive paint job. Now in 2007, Big Dog equipped these bikes with the extremely powerful 1916 cc 117 cubic inch SNS V twin motor. They also equip the bikes with a six speed Baker transmission. You've got a right side balance drive, PM disc brakes, and PM polished bullet wheels. They definitely didn't spare any expenses when they built this bike. Now up front you've got a 21 inch rim. In the rear you've got a 18 inch rim with a gigantic 300 millimeter tire. Definitely gives the bike that classic chopper look. I acquired the bike from the second owner and they have owned the bike approximately for about four years and uh, they acquired the bike from the original owner here in Utah. It's definitely getting harder and harder to find these low mileage, uh, very well cared for bikes. Now the bike does have a uh, different uh, few additions. First off, you've got the Harley Davidson tinted uh, lens cover here. Just gives the bike a little bit more of a, a classy look. You've got that uh, tinted glass with the bezel look. Definitely a nice addition to have. You also have the uh, chrome sissy bar ready struts. What that's going to allow you to do is to add a sissy bar rather easily. You're just going to pop it into these mounting uh, holes and uh, that will allow you to uh, use the sissy bar as a backrest uh, pad for the uh, rear passenger. You can also uh, add a storage rack to uh, bring some gear with you. Uh, definitely a, a good, good thing to have. You've got the uh, Super Trap exhaust. Looks good, sounds even better. Definitely got a, a nice low throaty sound with it. You've got the uh, passenger pegs. Uh, that will allow you to uh, add a pillion pad or a two up seat uh, to facilitate that passenger. You also have the chrome custom mirrors. Gives the bike a little bit different look than the uh, stock mirrors. Kind of makes it your own. You've also got the uh, clear 10 inch uh, BDM windshield. Cuts down on the airflow. Uh, so that's nice just to get the wind out of your face kind of thing. And then one of the last uh, additions you've got on the bike is that Dakota Digital uh, speedometer that replaces the problematic uh, stock autometer speedometer. Uh, those were very common to have issues, especially if you got any moisture uh, on the speedometer. So it's definitely a nice thing to have. Now I'd rate the bike at a 9.75 out of a 10. It is one of the nicer and cleaner bikes that I've come across, but it does have a few uh, minor cosmetic blemishes, and so that's why I'm not rating it a 10 out of a 10. 
We've got that rear Avon tire. Uh, I was told uh, by the previous owner that that was replaced about 1,500 miles ago. So I'm going to say you have approximately 75% of tread remaining. Should definitely give you plenty of life. Rear fender really doesn't have any major blemishes that I can point out. Maybe with the exception of some light surf scratches from being dusted off throughout the course of the bike's life. Polished billet on that rear wheel is in good shape, has definitely been uh, polished on a regular basis. Uh, could use a little bit of elbow grease to look like new, uh, but definitely looks good. Shouldn't take uh, much, much effort to make that look better. Same with that rear pulley. We've got some light uh, cosmetic blemishing there, just some, some light uh, surface scratching. Solo seat is in good condition. No major blemishes that I can point out there. Rear swing arm on this side is in uh, good shape. No major blemishes that I can point out. You've got the Super Trap exhaust. It is in good shape. You do have a little bit of scraping on that lower heat shield. We'll try to get a better shot there. I don't know if you can notice that. So, almost uh, pretty tough to see just because it, it sits underneath, but it is there, so I definitely want to point that out. Underneath of the frame is in uh, decent shape. These bikes sit so low to the ground, I'm going to advertise it as having um, some light scrapes. Nothing major, uh, but definitely I want to point that out. Uh, pretty much almost impossible to avoid it on these bikes because they sit so low to the ground uh, that it's had to uh, probably have dragged at some time point entering a driveway. Electrical covers in good condition. No major blemishes that I can point out there. gas tank is in good condition no major blemishes maybe a few light uh, surf scratches from being dusted off gas caps in pretty good con uh, condition most of the time you'll have a little bit of uh, light nicks on there just from being set down uh, while the bike is being refueled Hopefully that's capturing that gorgeous air rushing. Polished motor is in great shape. No major blemishes on the rocker box covers. The bike has definitely been uh, kept out of the weather and uh, in a garage and has been polished on a regular basis. got the uh, passenger pegs they're in pretty good condition almost look like they haven't been used much uh, you do have a little bit of uh, blemishing in between the rubber it's extremely hard to get in there and polish in between the rubber and so that's why that occurs uh, other than that they're not in bad shape but they they do have a little uh, bit of oxidation so we want to point that out same with the front front uh, forward rider uh, control pegs as well in between the rubber you can just see uh, the oxidation not bad this is probably some of the, the the better examples i've come across but i want to point it out like you might have a little bit of a scrape there bottom of that peg uh, that can happen rather easily too uh, with leaning into a turn Hand controls and mirrors, handlebars, all in good shape. No major blemishing. 
probably have a little bit of uh, some bug splat right here on the Ford, uh, part of the uh, hand controls, but in pretty good shape. Windshield's in good shape. Might have a little bit, bit of a bug splat there as well. Down tubes of the front of the frame are in good condition, no major blemishes. Maybe a, a few very, very light minor uh, rock chips, uh, like pin tip size, but nothing that I can really point out. Hopefully that gives you a better view of that. Triple trees and forks are in good condition. Uh, headlights in good condition, no major blemishes. really point out got those uh, tinted Harley Davidson uh, lens covers definitely improves the look of the bike chrome on the lower forks are in great shape no major blemishes there no pitting chrome so that's definitely a nice thing front of the fender is in really good condition. No major blemishes I can point out there. Fork brace is in uh, good shape. Need a little bit of oxidation to where that could be cleaned up. Got that gorgeous airbrushing on the front fender as well. Polished billet on the uh, this side of the front wheels in good condition. Uh, again, could use a little bit of elbow grease to look uh, like new and perfect. Um, but overall, in pretty good shape. Has definitely been kept up on uh, throughout the course of the bike's life. Front Avon tire is in good shape. Uh, I was told that was replaced at the same time as the rear tire, so that should have uh, less than 1,500 miles on it. So I'm going to say that has approximately 75% of tread remaining as well. The side of the uh, front wheel, the polished belt is in good shape. Uh, no major blemishes. Uh, could use a little bit of uh, polishing to look, uh, look like new. Uh, front brake rotor is in good shape. No uh, pitting chrome, no blemishes there. Headlight on the side's in good shape. Gas tank on the side is in great shape, no major blemishes to point out. on the frames in good condition on this side. Shift peg and foot peg on the side. It's pretty similar to the other side. You've got some blemishing in between oxidation. Nothing crazy, but it is is definitely tough to get in there uh, with some tools to polish that and so that's why that occurs rocker box covers on this side are in good shape engine jugs are in good shape in fact i can't see any uh, rust marks in the uh, engine bolt heads so that's a good thing um, most of the time I do see that just because even if you wash it and you don't get all the moisture off, that can that can happen. But this bike uh, looks like it doesn't have it, so that's definitely a, a wonderful thing. Primary covers in uh, good condition. You might have some light uh, surf scratches and, and blemishing. Nothing crazy. 
overall in really good condition. Bottom of the frame, similar shape as the other side. Probably have a couple of scrapes underneath uh, just from sitting so low. Solo seat on this side is in great shape. No major blemishes to point out. Electrical covers in good condition as well. Rear passenger peg on the side, uh, similar condition as the other one. Again, you've got a little bit of oxidation in between the uh, rubber, but the rubber looks like it hasn't even been used on the rear passenger pegs. I can't see any suction cup marks on that rear fender, so I doubt there's really ever been a, a passenger on the bike very often. Kickstand's in good shape. We've got a little bit of chipping chrome right here. See that on every bike just because of the way the, the kickstand functions. Chrome sissy bar ready struts on the side in good condition. No major blemishes. Swing arms in good condition. I have got one little rock chip up here underneath that uh, strut. Just want to point that out. Uh, license plate holders in good shape. Maybe with the exception of some light uh, surf scratches uh, just from being used over the years. Swing arms in good shape. Rear brake rotor is in good condition. No uh, major blemishes, no pitting chrome there. Polish bill is in great shape. Again, could use a little bit of elbow grease uh, to look like new, but has definitely been kept up on uh, throughout the course of the bike's life. Let's go ahead and fire it up for you.
Right, so there you have it. Definitely shows the bike runs extremely well. Rides even better. Definitely in great shape. Everything functions as it should. Definitely a, an extremely nice bike. If you do have any additional questions, definitely don't hesitate to uh, give me a phone call. You can reach me on my direct uh, cell phone, which is 801-564-0629. Again, that's 801-564-0629. Another great way to track our inventory is to uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. So go ahead and uh, subscribe. Also like this video. Uh, I would also suggest hopping over to our direct website, which is www.utahchopper.com. Again, that is www.utahchopper.com. I most definitely appreciate your time and also look forward to the possibility of working with you. Thank you so much.